Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video. It has been a day of reviews. I was on that beautiful K1600 bagger. I was on this R1200GS rally. And now I am on this 2018 BMW G310GS. This is a really cool bike because it is a, let's not call it beginner anymore because I know that you guys don't necessarily like that. Let's call it a good uh, entry level small CC displacement motorcycle, but it is a bit of a beginner motorcycle. Uh, I just first want to shout out this is an amazing dealership, District Harley Davidson. You guys will have known them for the last couple of years as Batley. They are now District HD. They sell Harley Davidsons, Ducatis, and of course, B. MWs, and uh, that's what I'm on today. And right before we jump into it, I want to thank our sponsors for this video. Rollick, Rollick is connecting enthusiasts like me and you with a certified network of dealers like District Harley Davidson to find the best prices and the most transparent buyer experience for motorcycles, ATVs, side by sides, RVs. If you can have an adventure on it, Rollick has your back. Whew. All right, so my main man Sam here at District HD has done a walk around. That footage will be displayed. W is it a G310GS? Correct. So this is the total little brother to what I just got off of, you guys have seen a video, on the R1200GS rally. Sam's going to tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, kind of the entry level or um, just a smaller, more easier to use version, I guess, than the, the bigger 1200 with the G310R. Correct. Which is the standard model, this being the one that's trying to emulate more of kind of that off-road adventure so bike. This does have more suspension travel, greater ground clearance, and um, just more body work to resemble the It, uh, it looks pretty GS. similar. I mean, it's got the same kind of front uh, build and uh, same kind of body panel styles as, you know, the tank center comes down that different color so this is powered by a single cylinder correct 300 10 cc ish yes puts out house like suspension i know it's got the these aren't brembo's but they're the same company but they're by brembo right so whenever you see uh by bre that's by brembo literally by brembo <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> super clever on their part i suppose this is a really cool bike. So the people, the my subscribers in general, don't like the term beginner bike. But it's hard to not say that this is a beginner motorcycle. Right, or someone looking for, an, if they are gonna actually take it off pavement, off road, um, it's very light, uh, again, easy to use. Got some on off road tires already from the factory. Yeah. To focus like a 250 is pretty much a beginner bike. Yeah, so we've had so not only new riders but experienced riders that just want something light, easy to use. Um, even for around town, it's uh, just hop on, it's light, it's easy. Um, you can put luggage on it if you do need a commute. I mean, what's it get like 75 miles to the gallon, something Amazing. around there? Yeah. Thumper, thumper thumping. <laughs> so what's great on this one versus the R, you can shut off the ABS. Okay, you can, wow. So it really does have that like you have a, So that way when you're off road, you can pop up the rear. Um, nice thing uh, that you don't see a lot on these kind of smaller bikes a fuel gauge and a gear indicator that is huge a lot of people think that no fuel gauge no gear indicator not a beginner motorcycle right those are two really important things abs of course okay otherwise you know tap yeah, everything you need everything you need really cool i mean i heard that bmw motorcycle or rather entry level or even something just like sam said to commute on 75 miles per gallon, low entry cost, probably very low insurance, three year, 36,000 mile warranty, and then maybe someday. You'll have seen it, or you will see it, uh, and we're just gonna go for a ride. We're just gonna enjoy it, because I was just on the Big Brother, so it is, 
you know, obviously it's not a direct comparison, as this is a more entry-level bike. But we're going to go out, we're going to stall it, because that's cool. And we're going to go have some fun! <laughs> oh, this is such a, like, mini-me of the R1200GS. It, it really is. I love the styling. I think they nailed it on that. Uh, I like the suspension travel on this too. If you guys remember, I've already done a review on the G310R. I will uh, link that in the description or it'll pop up on the side or something or possibly at the end of this video so that you guys can go check that one out. So this is the more enduro focused version of that beginner motorcycle, right? Let's just call it what it is. It's a low displacement. It's a relatively low seat height, especially for an enduro bike. This has a very, very uh, user-friendly seat height. I would say at my 30 inch inseam, I had not a lick of trouble getting my feet on the ground. It's really nice. Uh, the suspension is pretty plush, so it does compress well when you sit on it. So if you're looking at it in the dealership and you think it's too tall for you, go throw a leg over it because I almost guarantee you that it's gonna compress down to a place where you feel really comfortable. So as Sam and I discussed back at Batley, this is really a stripped down version of the R1200GS. I mean, it is very low cost. I believe they come in at right around $6,000. But for exact pricing, please go to gorolic.com and you'll get the number that you're looking for. But this is, this is a really nice entry level cost. This would be the perfect motorcycle to have if you wanted to go, let's say, commute in the city, or you know, if this was your daily bike. You know, it's funny, a friend of mine and I were just discussing the, the cost of owning a high caliber race machine. You know, both of us have S1000Rs. Very high strung, very powerful bikes. You know, I've just done an oil change, I've just done brake pads, I'll be doing spark plugs soon. It's just the cost to own a more premium, more performance-based motorcycle is generally going to be higher. The beauty of something like this is that everything is a bit lower cost. So for me, this would be the perfect bike to ride to work. I love riding my motorcycle to work. It's one of my favorite things to do. I get to ride on the express lanes, which in Northern Virginia are just like uh, hot lanes, HOV, high occupancy vehicle lanes. And they get me to work significantly quicker than if I had taken a car for free, which is amazing. But maybe I don't like riding my S1000R every day just because, hey, I want to keep the miles low on it. I want to keep the maintenance costs lower on it, which comes from not putting a lot of miles on it. And I need something that gets even better gas mileage. This thing, you know, 70 plus miles per gallon with uh, really low insurance and a pretty low entry cost would be the perfect second bike for commuting. I would love to ride this thing in DC. It would be a fantastic bike in the city. And yet it has more than enough power to get up on the highway and probably cruise. Things you guys might be interested to hear, what is the wind protection like? Well, this little thing right here is actually working pretty well. I'm not feeling any wind on my chest or my shoulders. However, I am getting the wind right at my neck to helmet line. So your helmet and your face are not uh, safe from said wind. You would have to get some sort of a aftermarket windscreen, which I imagine will come out soon enough. Out for Arizona, I ain't feeling it. Did you know? Did, 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 did you know? Oh, the rooting in, or, or, or entry-level adventure bike, rather. I don't know of any others, particularly, off the top of my head. I really don't. I mean, what if you could compare this, I guess, to a WR250R, but there's really no comparison there either. This, this bike has more features. It's more user-friendly and beginner-friendly, whereas that is, like, legitimately a dirt bike with a plate. So, you know, a bit more. I smell someone has a fire today. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Don't stall. Don't stall. Don't stall. Let me get in my truck. Drive off into the sunset.
is a really nice road. <laughs> That'll wake you up. My way back to District Harley Davidson on this, uh, again, beautiful 2018 G310 GS. I like it, I don't love it. Uh, and trust me, I'm not comparing it to anything styled bike or, or, or depending on your preferences. Um, at the very least, this bike can go off-road. So you are getting that. So it's, it's just something to think about. But how interesting is that? So anyway, I've been giving bikes a score from uh, one to 10. Dun, 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 6.8. Oh, that feels low. Is that low? That feels low. 7.2? No, we're, we're sticking with the original. 6.8, you know why? Just because it's not, it's not, hmm. I don't know, because I'm comparing, I'm putting it on the scale with things like the, you know, Ducati Panigale V4S. So I have to keep it in terms of a, that scale, and it's just, you know, it has, I, I'm gonna, for the entry level, I'm gonna give it a, an eight out of 10 in terms of features because of the fuel gauge and the gear indicator. Power, six out of 10, it's just not there. Hard to rate this bike. You know what? Scratch the rating system on this one. I'm not gonna rate it from one to 10. I don't think that's a fair thing to do. I think it's a very nice entry level BMW motorcycle. Um, I think it's missed the mark just a tad. And that's my opinion as a reviewer. I always ask you guys to go out. If you're in the market for this motorcycle, find a dealership, ride it yourself and see if you like it because it might be the perfect bike for you and it's just not the right one for me or you know in my current mindset uh however thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you are new hit that like button if you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one peace Oh my god. Huh. Welcome to Erdl Automotive. Where we automotive your Erdls. I said we sip on the Burdle. Automotive your Erdl. Get them Son of a nutcracker. Great Odin's Raven. We're in Leightonville.